AI, AI, AI. Machines that think like humans. It is everywhere. Not just out there in the world, but in your mind too. It all started to get a little scary when AI started to write things and then build things and then sell it to. And now you're worried about whether it can replace you too. To be honest, it's a genuine question that you should be bothered about. And if you're not already, then either you're one of those people who already started adopting it and know it very well or is planning to retire soon. But if you're none of the above, then you should not miss this video and watch it till the end. Hello everyone, I'm Shrey Sharma, your Salesforce Hulk. In today's video, we will try to understand AI in Salesforce. You all already know what AI is, so let's just not waste time over it. AI was introduced in Salesforce way back than you can imagine. It may be new for you, but not for Salesforce. The journey of AI is divided into phases or how Salesforce likes to call it, waves. The first wave of AI was started back in 2014 when Mark declared that Salesforce will become an AI first company. He could see back then what the future might look like and started investing into the same since then. The goal was very simple. Instead of every company needing data scientists to deploy AI, they wanted to create an AI offering so simple that everyone could be their own data scientist. With this question, Salesforce formed a development team. And two years later, at the Dreamforce event in September 2016, Salesforce unveiled Einstein. Salesforce Einstein became the name and face of Salesforce's AI innovation. It meant the CRM could now learn from data and predict outcomes, like which leads are brand new or which deals might close faster. Salesforce also launched Einstein Discovery at this time which is a no-code tool for analytics. It basically looks at all your data and says, hey, your sales dropped last month due to these reasons, and this is what you can do to increase them by 20%. In 2017, Salesforce rolled out a host of new AI features across sales and service clouds. Let's look at all of them one by one. First up was Einstein Prediction Builder. You must have used Predictive AI, which is a tool that makes future predictions based on current data. So Einstein Prediction Builder allowed administrators to build their own predictive models on any Salesforce field or object. For example, a model to predict how many customers are likely to purchase again or stay. And all of this was done without writing a single line of code. Next up was Einstein bots or chatbots as you may call it. These were AI chatbots to handle routine tasks for service or sales cloud employees. Powered by natural language processing, these bots were able to answer simple customer queries like their order status or perform tasks like resetting passwords. The catch here is that the bots would hand over the task to humans if it is out of their capabilities. The third update that was added to Einstein is the forecasting feature. It is an intelligent tool that uses AI and extends on the prediction abilities of Einstein to improve sales. It digs into your historical data and seasonal data to give a more accurate revenue forecast so you can make your strategies, finalize your budgets, etc. accordingly. The fourth edition was Einstein Opportunity Scoring. It is an inbuilt scoring system for opportunities. It uses machine learning to score your sales opportunities from 1 to 99. The higher score means the deals have a higher chance of closing. Based on these scores, your sales reps can easily prioritize deals with more potential. Lastly, Einstein Email Insights was added to be your personal assistant. It goes through your CRM and emails to filter the most important messages and suggest what action to take next. For example, it will flag urgent emails and remind you to take follow-ups. Each of these features put AI into a different part of the sales process and ultimately made Salesforce data more predictive, all while automating routine tasks. Well, this was all in 2017. Now let's move on to the next AI-powered feature in Salesforce. In 2018, Salesforce introduced Einstein Next Best Action. I think the name kind of gives it away. Instead of predicting a field or score, this tool uses your business rules plus AI to recommend the best next step for an agent or a rep. 
The mechanism is simply rules based and predictive models that provide your agents with intelligent and contextual recommendations. For example, you work at a bank and Einstein gives you the next best move with every client based on what works best. It might suggest you to offer them a credit card upgrade or whatever maximizes the chances of success. In short, it injects AI powered support into the workflow, suggesting the next move at each stage of the process. Now, before we move on to the second phase of AI evolution in Salesforce, there is something that you need to understand. Data is the foundation of all systems working in the Salesforce ecosystem. And it is actually the most important factor in the success of artificial intelligence. Data is what allowed Salesforce to innovate and actually make a CRM the standard of AI. So in 2022, to make sure there is no loophole in making Salesforce an AI first company, Genie was launched. You may know it as Data Cloud. It was renamed later. Genie or Data Cloud is a real-time engine which gives you a 360 degree view of your customer data. And that is not it. It unifies the data across all your Salesforce clouds like sales, service, marketing, commerce, and even external systems. How does this help AI? Well, the customer profiles are always updated and AI features like Einstein models can tap into fresh data every time they need to execute a task. Let's get back to our AI roadmap. It is 2023, the year when Salesforce doubled down on generative AI and co-pilots. The second wave of AI started with the launch of Einstein Copilot. It is a conversational AI assistant built into every Salesforce app. Yes, every single one of them. With natural language chat interfaces, Copilot lets you ask questions like, how did our Q1 deals perform? And get instant answers for the same. It is grounded in company data from Data Cloud, so the responses that you get are accurate and up to date. It can even suggest next steps automatically or generate a perfect sales email for you in seconds. I'm sure many of you must have used ChatGPT well. Einstein Copilot is very similar, just built right into your Salesforce. In short, Copilot brings chat-like AI assistance to every sales or service cloud user. Now, as the Einstein Copilot took off, Salesforce also added generative AI directly into Salesforce-owned applications like Slack and Tableau. In Slack, AI is embedded in your channels or workflows. For example, it can summarize threads, draft messages, or brainstorm ideas based on your CRM data. That means your Salesforce customer data and Slack conversations can be combined. You could ask Slack's AI to pull in case history or customer notes from Salesforce while writing a Slack message. In Tableau GPT, generative AI works a little differently. You can write a natural language prompt and AI will automatically build dashboards or insights. For example, you can say, show me this month's sales by region and suggest reasons for any drop off. And Tableau GPT generates charts and an explanation. You could be an analyst or a business user and Tableau GPT can help you get answers from your data much faster. The last addition to AI that year was AI Cloud. It is a suite of tools designed to make generative AI accessible across all Salesforce products. The highlight of this suite was the Einstein Trust Layer, a layer of security to handle your model choice so that you can safely use external and internal AI models. AI Cloud underpins features like Tableau GPT and Copilot to ensure your data is used safely, securely and ethically. It's like having a safety net that double checks how AI uses your customer's data. Moving on to the year 2024 and the beginning of third wave of AI in Salesforce. In September 2024, when I was there in Dreamforce, Salesforce introduced us to the era of agents and launched Agent Force. It is a suite of autonomous AI bots that mimic and help your employees across sales, service, marketing, commerce, and more. These are very different from your generative AI chatbots, by the way. Instead of just predicting or suggesting, these agents actually take action on tasks. For example, an agent force agent can autonomously answer customer support inquiries, qualify new sales leads, or adjust marketing campaigns. And it does this by analyzing CRM data and following business rules, thanks to the brain of the system, Atlas Reasoning Engine. It is a digital workforce of agents to support your human agents. The agents run independently and drive results just like your human agents. They work 24-7 by the way, 
so there are no delays and efficiency is through the roof literally now there are two major kinds of agents that you can build in agent force first is out of the box agents which we call as ootb these are pre built ai assistants for sales service marketing and platform management think of them as templates but for ai agents you pick one modify them a bit for your needs and start using them immediately the second type is a custom agent custom agents allow you to tailor ai for your unique business needs you can use agent builder which is available in agent force to customize ootb agents or build new ones from scratch you can also use tools like flows prompts apex and mulesoft apis wait wait that is not it along with agent force salesforce also released prompt builder using this you can create test revise customize and manage your prompt templates and connects your crm data with llms it gives you a guided visual layout and takes you through each stage of your prompts life cycle from creation to testing and activation if you want me to show you how you can build an agent whether using flows or prompts or anything drop a comment below and i'll cover them soon in this series we're almost at the end of this video in 2025 salesforce has given agent force an upgrade or a glow up agent force 2.0 which is an upgraded version launched in february 2025 what's new well it is introduced as the digital labor platform so in simple terms salesforce is advertising heavily on the idea of a digital workforce agent force 2.0 is a library of all your prebuilt agents across salesforce clouds slack tableau and everything You can mix and match AI skills without much coding and in fact you can summon an agent directly in Slack or any other UI. It makes AI agents a part of your team. On the back end there is improved reasoning and also data retrieval RAG capabilities so the agents can handle more complex multi-step workflows. There is one more thing here. Similar to App Exchange, Salesforce launched Agent Exchange, a marketplace for AI agents, prompts and templates. So you can sell or purchase AI skills directly from this platform and there is a need for you to even build an agent. The newest addition that you can look out for in 2025 is Model Context Protocol MCP support across MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform. This is currently in beta and there is also A to A which is agent to agent protocol through which you can make a workflow consisting of just AI agents completely to perform multiple tasks. These tools are already changing how work gets done using AI and this is just the beginning. There is a lot more that we can expect from AI in the upcoming years. And while you wait, it would be better to start learning agent force and save your job. That is all for today's video. If you have any more questions, suggestions or anything you would like to know about AI in Salesforce, then please comment below and I will make a video on that very soon. If you found this video very helpful, don't forget to hit like share it with someone who might need it and subscribe to salesforce hall for more such videos thank you for watching and i'll see you and i'll see you in the next one